Okay, folks. I put a picture out the other day of some boiled eggs, and I said they were no pill boiled eggs. And I promised a video. So, we're all going to go through the process together, and let's hope today is as good as it was the other day. So, I'm going to get my husband to stop the camera a second because I forgot my spray, and then I'll let him get started. Okay, I found a little contraption called the egglet. And my husband and my grandson, they all know I love gadgets. I even had gadgets my husband didn't know I had. So I bought these little gadgets, taking a chance that they might work. Because I love boiled eggs, I hate peeling them. And I used store-bought eggs on the first one. This one we're using store-bought and home egg, fresh eggs right here. The brown eggs are fresh eggs. At first I thought, crazy, why did you put a dot on the fresh eggs? Because they're brown. Well, the reason is the shell does not go into the egglet. I was smarter this morning than I am this evening. So, on the first egglets, it says you can use light oil or three spurts of spray. So, I'm using canola nonstick spray. I'm putting three squirts in each one. Really, I've done two, but I think two's going to be plenty. And it says just to make sure that you get it around. My hands are clean, just washed them. So, this is how fast it is. I'm just going to smudge the oil around. And now we're ready to put our eggs in. So, I'm going to crack an egg and drop it into the egglet. And we're going to do these with all eight egglets. We're going to crack the egg. Uh, it did a good job on that one. Crack the eggs and put them in the egglet. We don't want to bust the yolk because we're making boiled eggs. Okay, all my fresh eggs are in. The store-bought eggs I set out a little while so they wouldn't be absolutely ice cold like they normally are. Making sure I don't bust my egg yolk. And if it works again today, I'd say you're going to run, want to run and get these egglets where I found them. Because they're well worth the investment. Okay. Now we're going to put the lids on them. Just make sure you get the lid tight. That one's tight. I really need to wipe my hands. I'll be right back. Got a little egg on my hands. Okay, and I'm using the ones with the dots because these are the fresh eggs. So I want to see if there's a difference between the fresh because we all know fresh eggs don't feel good. And I've already got my water boiling over here. So I'm going to add a little dot. Probably should have put bigger dots on them. There it is. These are the fresh eggs. I used a plastic egg tray to hold them upright because they're not going to stand upright. Or, I will show you the packaging. You can actually keep the tray that they come in, which is this tray. But I threw the first one out, so I didn't dig it out. So I thought, well, you can either use an egg carton like I did last night or a plastic egg tray to hold them upright. And then it says to put them in rapid boiling water. So, honey, we're going to bring them over to the stove. Let me turn on my light. I don't have a permanent light over my stove, but let's see. Got the light going. And all you're supposed to do is drop the egglets in boiling water that's three to four inches. I try to find a pot whose circumference would kind of keep the eggs upright. Yesterday I used a big pot. I believe that's going to work. We'll find out. And you're supposed to let these boil, rapid boil, 
for 16 minutes. Ah, is it starting? I don't know. Well, I've got the start button on, but it's not. Oh, it's already on. I guess it's mine. Duh. So, we're going to leave these in for 16 minutes, and when we come back, I'll show you what we have. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. I'm going to show you the product I bought. I'm not sponsored. I'm not paid anything to review it. It's just that I love gadgets. And in my lifetime, I've bought many, many gadgets. <coughs> Excuse me. The first time I bought it, I mean, first time I used it, I was so happy. They may not be the prettiest for deviled eggs, but... We're going to see how these do. There may be a way of perfecting the outside look for deviled eggs. But I've got at least two egg recipes I'm going to use with these boiled eggs. And it won't matter. But these are the egglets. They're as seen on TV. Walmart has them. And the Walmart price is $10. I have a picture to prove it, but I was at one of my favorite places, and many of you know it, the Dollar Tree. I found these egglets for one dollar. That was nine dollars off the regular price, and like I said, the picture shows Walmart still sells them for ten dollars. I bought three. I bought all the about. I think I bought three. I'm not sure I bought all the store had. But when I went back to get more, they were out. My daughter found me a couple. And then I was at the Dollar Tree a couple of days ago, and they had a whole shelf of them back where the plastic, kitchen plasticware is. And I decided I was going to buy four more. I at least want a dozen for me for recipes that I might make or gatherings I might do. And I'd say some of these are gonna go to some family members that love boiled eggs as much as I do. So right now, we're still waiting. Ooh, and for some reason, my clock is just not, let's do it again. I'm gonna have to do, let's do 13 minutes. Ah, better do 12, because I don't remember, I think I've been, well, I was videoing, don't know how much I got on my phone, but I had to go get my husband's phone, my battery died, but as I was saying, I really didn't have my timer set at 16 minutes, I don't know what I did, I'm crazy, so I had a guesstimate, and I believe the eggs were in there about four minutes before I caught it. So I set it on 12 minutes. So we got about 10 minutes left. While we're waiting on them to boil, I'm going to fill a bowl up with ice water to cool them down. And we'll be back after I cool them down. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes left. They're still boiling. This one's a little crowded. I wouldn't suggest in this little pasta pot for putting more than seven at a time in it. And I've got my ice water right here. We're going to use the tongs. Can you see them? The tongs. And these were the trays that I used to stand them up in. And the little recipe book that comes with the egglets also has some really good recipes for eggs. It's a little bitty small booklet. It's instructions and recipes. Okay, the timer's going off. And I was videoing and I don't know if I, I think I didn't video it, but I had messed up on the timer and didn't have it set, so about four minutes into it, I had to reset it for 12 minutes, so I'm hoping that was right. We're fixing to find out. So here are my eggs. You're gonna take the tongs, 
and you're going to drop the eggs down into the ice water. Okay, all the eggs are down in the ice water. I'm going to let them sit a couple of minutes, and then we'll come back and open them. Three. Okay, the eggs have been cooling for a couple of minutes in the ice water. It says you can take a spoon or your finger to get them out. Then I found out the first time, they just pop out. That's one of the fresh eggs, folks. It's a fresh boiled egg. This is one of, another one of my fresh eggs. I'm going to go ahead and open all of them because we want to see exactly what they all did. Here's another one of my fresh eggs. I think this was the one that... They say you can take a spoon or something. This like egg might have been a little bigger than the others. I don't know. But I got it out without the spoon. Here's another one. Uh -huh. Like I said, if, I'm going to figure out how to hold them up right, and they'll be a little bit more probably to where you can make deviled eggs. Because some of them were kind of slanting because I crowded them in. But look how easy it is to peel these no peel eggs. This was how fast it was for me to boil eggs today. And like I said, if you like gadgets and you don't care to try something out and for a dollar you can't go wrong, I would go as soon as I could to the Dollar Tree and get some of these excellence because they're $9 cheaper than Walmart. But while I get a fork, my husband's going to show you the eggs. Or I'll get a, I'm just getting a spoon. I'm kind of in a hurry. I gotta go get my grandson. But this is what you call perfectly boiled eggs. Use them in any recipe. Like I said, they're not the prettiest for deviled eggs, but I'm gonna figure out how to keep those things upright and that we can make deviled eggs too. And I'm glad I got to share it with you. Leave a comment if you tried it and if you liked it. And, yes, I'm going to take a bite. Mmm, oh. <laughs> it is so good. Perfect boiled egg. See you later.